It's an extremely thorough vaccination based on an adenovirus vector. So adenovirus is essentially a virus similar to the common cold. So a safe vector, two different adenoviruses, because this the, the basic um, um, uh, premise for the virus will be that you'll get a first dose. And then on day uh, 21, you'll get a, no, sorry, day 14, you'll get a second dose uh, of the, of the uh, of vaccine with a slightly different uh, adenovirus vector so that you don't get cross reactivity between those two vectors. So essentially, a, a, a dose and then a boost dose given shortly after. And the levels of immunity um, were absolutely comparable to the population who had actually caught coronavirus and recovered uh, in a similar time frame. So essentially, the virus does induce a state of immunity without having the primary disease and the ill effects of the disease of those who have recovered from the coronavirus. So that is incredibly um, uh, optimistic. Um, they themselves, as their conclusion, say, look, the safety profile was excellent and, and the safety profile was absolutely, you know, the, the side effects of this were things you expect to see with in any standard vaccination that people will be familiar with. And that's in terms of a little bit of pain at the injection site, having a, a temperature, um, having some aches and feeling a little bit of, of weakness and be, being unwell for a day or two. So, you know, all the standard um, things that one might expect with any adenovirus vaccination. Um, I think they, they have themselves said that they were able to accelerate their uh, development of the vaccine, both in terms of the face of the, the emergency of the pandemic that they were facing, but also in terms of their experience at the Gamaleya Institute, um, treating, as we've said, Ebola um, and previous SARS um, viruses. So I think they've used all their expertise. They've come up with what looks like to, to be a very effective vaccine. Uh, and they are, they've published phase one and phase two. And they have therefore, in, in, a, in, in accordance with the uh, emergency laws, which were passed in August uh, by the Russian Federation, have been allowed to uh, issue the virus to a wider population.